very good morning my friends how are you hope you guys are doing very well and welcome on this new midweek analysis video from extreme trader this is Salah speaking so starting with the euro USD we can see that it did not reverse from the support level I expected for it to reverse and if you remember from the last video I mentioned that we can expect for the euro USD to reverse on this next support and that is exactly what happened so far we can see that the euro USD has reversed right from the support level um, of course as you know the support uh, and resistance are zones so when we said that we can expect for the euro USD to reverse on the support level in general of course I mean the, the zone right here so we are having here a support zone and we can see that the euro USD has reversed right from this level and that is obvious actually from this long tail here this long tail here is actually re representing a strong rejection on the level and the candles so far not able to break out from this support and what we can see here on the second attempt that the market was trying again to break out from the support level however it failed therefore I believe that the euro USD is gonna start reversing from this support level right here we can start buying the euro USD right now and let me just tell you something that I'm not expecting for the euro USD to keep its bullish uh, momentum after what happened uh, most likely we are gonna see some breakout from the support later again we need to remember that we are having here a, a head and shoulders pattern which indicating usually a bearish reversal in the momentum and the, of the trend therefore what we can see here is we are having in the past a strong resistance levels right here which became a support and I don't think these levels are going to be ignored um, the euro USD actually might continue rising up to these levels also to these levels and from there it's going to continue its bearish momentum and going to continue falling more down until hitting this support level therefore going back to the 4 hour chart we can start buying the euro USD and keep the thread running all the way until it hit this let me just tell you where uh, let me just be careful and select wisely the levels where we can expect the euro USD to reverse uh, not to mention of course the coronavirus is really affecting the the market guys um, it's just making a huge impact on it especially on the gold we will talk about that, about that later uh, let me just be careful guys I'm just selecting wisely the resistance level where I'm expecting for the pair to actually start reversing down I believe here exactly right here yes should be right here let me just check to the left and yes we can see that we had here strong key resistance levels it was also a support and uh, looking just more to the left we can okay no need okay let's see it was also a strong support as well all right so we can start shorting the euro usd after almost 26 pips on the level let me just tell you sell for the euro usd on the level 1.10 696 hopefully this is what we're gonna happen we are doing our best my friends and as I said before the market is really tough nowadays and we have to pay attention to the news about whatever happened in the market we need to pay attention to the world events whatever happened can change all of these signals so that was my uh, the continuation of the euro USD after what happened so let's hope uh, it's gonna be followed now let's check the pound USD now for the pound USD I mentioned in the last video the weekly analysis video that we can expect for the euro so for the pound USD to fall from this resistance level and then it's going to continue falling more down until it finish uh, the testing of the resistance trend line that is exactly what happened but however not exactly sorry uh, the pound USD just fall down immediately for almost 230 pips without reaching this resistance level so we can say that we somehow missed uh, this opportunity however uh, th the pound USD so far is not actually that bad for the buy the reason is we are facing a strong support in the past let me just show you right here we are facing a strong support level and uh, not to mention that this price action is good for the reversal for the bullish reversal so we can expect for the pound USD to actually right now after this bearish uh, candle I think the market cannot break out from this support level after having all these attempts on this support level therefore I believe because now we are on the daily candles I'm expecting for the next two candles to actually be bu uh, bullish 
and they are going to continue rising more up to this level let me just go to the four hour chart so as I said before when you see a long tail at a support level like this like this pin bar here this is indicating a huge rejection in the breakout of the level therefore the pound USD seems really good for the buy right now and we can keep our trade running uh, let me just uh, tell you to be safe you can keep the trade running all the way until it hit this previous support level so that can get for us about 50 pips of profit that is just to be safe because right now uh, the pair is ranging in this channel and as I said before we don't want to be stuck in channel this is really dangerous because now you are stuck in the middle in the ranging market when it's in consolidation mode and you don't want to stuck in the battle between bulls and bears therefore we are just going to make some short signal for the pound USD so far and in my opinion the pound USD is gonna continue its bullish momentum just for 50 pips uh, until it hit that previous support level and then we can we're gonna see what we're gonna do um, maybe it's not the best idea to start buying right away I mean maybe better we can wait for the pair to reach this support level so we are now in the four hour chart maybe it's better idea just to wait some more time wait for the pair to go down hit this previous support level right here and right here and we are having here a small tail indicating a support number one therefore just wait a little bit more time to earn about I think 20 pips maybe um, almost 20 pips yes almost 20 pips we can wait for the market to go down here a little bit just to retest this level then place your buy order of course we can expect for the pair to go a little bit down against you but however keep your trade running hopefully the market is going to continue going all up uh, all the way up until here until it hit this previous resistance level which was also a previous support and of course not to mention that we need to see the price action to know if the, the pair is going to continue the bullish momentum or reverse so that's uh, my uh, following analysis for the pound USD let's hope it's gonna follow this analysis let's check right now the AUD USD which I mentioned that most likely it is on a support level and should be reversing and we are not yet sure what will gonna happen and right now finally after the reversal we can see that we are the the pair have reversed on the support level i think it's now making the correction and i believe it's going to continue the bullish momentum now it's a question about what should we do next with the aud usd uh, let me just be sure about selecting the levels let me just uh, draw fibonacci retracement here and let's see on the left which uh, support level this was exactly right here perfect so i believe if I'm not mistaken that the AUD USD is reversing right now on this previous support level and right now it's gonna create a resistance on the Fibonacci 61.8 it's gonna continue falling more down until it had this uh, previous support level on the level 38.2 of, of Fibonacci and then we can start buying again the AUD USD and keep the trade running all the way until it had this previous support level right here so um, for the continuation of the last week analysis we can see that the AUD USD is good for the buy on this level let me just write it down for you on the level 0.67162 and keep your thread running my friends until the pair hit this previous support level right here so hopefully we can get approximately 80 pips of profit hopefully we are gonna get them all and uh, let's see let's check right now the USD GPY USD GPY is actually moving randomly right now in my opinion because of the coronavirus is affecting the pair um, going with the, back to the daily candles I honestly didn't see any way for this card ca market to break out from all these resistance levels at once with this one single candle uh, that's like a game changing and we need to follow uh, follow this trend so let's see now what will gonna happen with the USD GPY the signal will be changed for sure right now we cannot do much for the USD GPY we need to wait for it to reach the right level where we can start actually buying the pair so 
uh, USDCPY seems to be going up and we need to follow this trend of course and uh, let me just select this level to be our good level to start buying the USD GPY so what we can see here on the left we are having this strong support level which was also a strong support right here and we can see that we are having here this resistance on the very same level of the previous support and this strong bullish momentum of the, of the USD, USD GPY we can expect for the pair to actually fall down a little bit hit this previous support level and then continuous bullish momentum all the way until it hit this uh, resistance level and what I'm expecting actually for the USD GPY is to continue rising more to hit this resistance level so we are now back to our old analysis which says that the USD GPY should continue climbing its way up until it hit this previous resistance right here therefore our signal for the USD GPY is gonna be for the buy right here let me just change this one of course now it has changed after what happened now it's buy order on the level 109 109.139 we can buy the pound sorry the USD GPY on this level and just to be safe let's keep our trade running all the way until it hit this resistance right here so we can look for almost 102 pips of profit hopefully we are gonna get them all and hopefully the market will follow this analysis now let's check the USD CAD and uh, looking at the USD CAD my last week analysis uh, says or expected for the pair to actually reverse and go down to this support level however the pair just continued going more up and actually to be honest with you after releasing the video I was wondering what did I think because we already have two attempts of the support we already have support number one and two so most likely it was really obvious that the pair is gonna continue up uh, however I don't know wh what happened anyway what happened has happened and the pair just continued rising more up and now let's go to the daily candles and see what will gonna happen with the USD CAD now in my opinion it's better to avoid the USD CAD uh, for the meantime because the pair is approaching a very 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 strong resistance level and in my style of trading forex I'm usually avoiding the levels of the high demand or high on uh, on, on, on su supply or on demand usually these levels are actually not safe to enter because we are not sure what will gonna happen uh, if the pair is gonna exceed this level or gonna reverse we just don't know there is no theory there is nothing can be assuring us that the pair is gonna reverse or break out that's why in my philosophy and my trading style I usually I usually avoid such setups therefore I need to avoid also the USD CAD just to be safe and to make my members also safe um, just wait to see what will gonna happen if the pair is gonna break out from this level or if it's gonna reverse if it's gonna reverse of course we're going to short and if it's going to break out from this level we need to wait the, re the retest uh, of the resistance and then we can start again buying the USD CAD so for the USD CAD I really cannot say anything we have to wait more time to see what will gonna happen with this pair looking at the USD CHF uh, if I'm not mistaken the last week analysis video I said that the USD CHF is good for the buy I was expecting for the USD CHF to fall more down to the support level um, let me just uh, watch my video one second yes as I said correct uh, I was expecting for the USD CHF to fall more down to the lower level of the support however the pair just reversed immediately before even going down there so what's next now going back to the uh, daily candles we can see that the pair has reversed on the support level and in my opinion is gonna continue climbing all the way up until it hit this previous resistance and from that point we can start shorting again the USD CHF all in all the USD CHF should be good for the short but not right now we have to wait uh, we have to wait more time uh, the USD CHF should be good for the short only from this resistance level right here so I believe it's gonna be not bad idea at all to buy the USD CHF for the meantime because right now we are on a very strong support level 
even right here on the four hour chart we can see that we are facing a strong support level and after the pair have reversed from this support uh, it seems like the pair is gonna be safe for the buy here let me just be sure draw a Fibonacci retracement and indeed it's on the level 38.2 therefore we can start buying again the UCCHF and actually maybe you can buy it right now the UCCHF it, it might fall just for like 10 pips against you 15 pips against you however it is uh, safe to start buying again the USDCHF and keep your trade running all the way for almost 50 pips until it is this previous resistance because most likely we are going to start shorting the USDCHF from that point however we just need to be sure and see the price action if it's indicating a good sell on that resistance now let's check the gold now the gold is actually is uh, really going against all the analysis because of the coronavirus is affecting the gold directly i'm telling you therefore um we just need to be safe with the gold right now i mean for the last two weeks my analysis for the gold uh, uh, is not going well and i just uh, hope it does uh, this time because we are having good opportunity for the uh, short and buy as well so from my point of view the gold is gonna continue its bearish momentum after retesting this uh, broken support level right here and the resistance right here and of course this support here and it's gonna continue falling more down all the way until it hit this previous support level then from that point logically the gold should be good for the buy again most likely for, uh, for the meantime the gold is gonna keep its bearish, bearish momentum uh, I don't think it's gonna go up at all at this point Mm, uh, that's not not likely to happen to be honest not likely to happen I don't think so the gold seems to be continuing falling down and we can start shorting the gold immediately uh, please if you have any buy orders opened for the gold my apologize maybe better you close them uh, I cannot take any responsibility if the gold will continue rising more up because as I said it's really hard to predict the gold right now, right now because of the situation uh, what is happening around the globe therefore as I said the gold should be good for the sell uh, it might go up here retest this previous support level and then kind of continue falling more down I'm expecting if you want to be really safe you want to have the best opportunity for the gold better wait for the gold to fall down here to this point hit this previous support level and then we can start buying the gold of course that is if nothing happened no news happened nothing will change the signal I really hope so because uh, the gold is uh, ranging a lot these days because of the coronavirus thing and what the other news are going on in the world therefore uh, that was my midweek analysis video I just hope the market uh, is gonna be loyal to us and we are going to make some good profits from the market following this analysis in the end uh, I hope that was informative to you and I would like to thank you for watching